About 140 firefighters and EMS members responded to the fire at 63rd Street and 1st Avenue. CBS 2's Tim McNichols reports. Investigators say the fire started in a commercial unit on the ground floor and was difficult to put out. Jessica and Maurice, about 140 firefighters and EMS personnel responded to this fire here at 63rd and 1st. The FDNY says a total of four people suffered minor injuries, including three firefighters. The fire is now under control, but just about an hour and a half ago, you could see a cloud of smoke over the neighborhood. Firefighters believe the fire started on the ground floor and then moved up from there throughout an apartment building. The FDNY says no one can stay in that building tonight. I just talked to a woman who says she just moved in in January, the beginning of this month. She is heartbroken to see how bad the fire was and is anxiously waiting to hear more about the extent of the damage. The fire extended from the first floor through what we call a shaft between the two buildings, and then it rapidly extends up to the roof level and into each floor through the windows. FDNY Assistant Chief Michael Ajeo said, at this time, there is no word on how the fire started. I am just absolutely at a loss for words because put like so much into that little apartment like I have everything um, in there and besides like the money it just like memorable memorable stuff and it um, just I'm just scared yeah. And there is no word yet on the cause of this fire or exactly how many people were displaced. I can tell you that the ground floor of this building appears to be a business. And above that, it looks like there's about four floors of apartments. It's also not clear if any other buildings were damaged or affected by this. This video was posted to YouTube in February of 2020 and shows surveillance camera footage of several alleged intruder entries at Tokyo Garden in Bakersfield, California. The owner of the restaurant, Thomas Park, claims that the restaurant has been the target of intruders on at least four occasions over the course of several months. Park says that although he has filled authority reports for the incidents, he is not entirely sure what the authorities have actually done to help. It's gotten to the point where I don't feel safe and my customers don't feel safe, Park told KGET News. The footage in question shows the burglars rummaging around the place and breaking windows. According to Park, other restaurants in the area, such as McDonald's, have also recently been targeted. A woman on YouTube named Annie Bennett says that since she moved into her new house, she has been witnessing some terrifying and mysterious things in the dining room, always happening during the night, particularly from 2.15 to 2.30 in the morning. She says it happened so much that she surprisingly learned to live with it. She set up a video camera to see if it could show her YouTube subscribers precisely what she has to put up with while in the comfort of her own home. Take a look and see what Annie experiences at night.
I can't imagine how terrifying it must have been to hear this for the first time while sleeping in your bed and trying to get some rest when suddenly your piano begins to play itself. In the upload's description, Annie says that they told her that a lady used to live in the house before her. Still, she ended up passing away just one year before she moved in, so could this be a ghost of the previous homeowner? It is entirely possible. After all, it would explain how the piano plays and all the other strange activities. Perhaps this is just a friendly ghost wanting to get some piano practice. Either that, or it's all a carefully planned hoax. In this video, an officer pulls over a large blue truck for speeding. As the officer gets out of his vehicle and walks toward the passenger side door of the truck, he turns and moves just in the nick of time to avoid an out-of-control pickup that swerved off the road, into the semi, and over the guardrail. Neither the officer nor the driver of the pickup were seriously injured. A man received this 35-year-old Clyde the Clown doll as a gift from a friend. Supposedly, the creepy doll has quite the history of unexplainable and bizarre activity, such as moving all on its own, or sometimes being mysteriously found in a different location than the one that it was previously left at. Late at night one day, the man set up a camera to monitor the doll. This is what he ended up capturing that night. As you can see, the doll seems to be moving its head. The footage is made even more creepy if you speed up the video to three times its normal speed. In this video, a highway patrol officer from Kansas almost got killed in a head-on collision with an out-of-control semi-truck. The truck driver was coming on the opposite side of the road of the divided highway when his truck started to skid due to the rain. The semi plowed through the ditch and onto the opposing road before jackknifing. The officer just narrowly missed the truck as well as flying debris. It is fairly common knowledge that if you are feeling tired when driving, the safe and responsible thing for you to do is pull over to the side of the road and take a break. You should never under any circumstances be driving if you're feeling so tired to the point where you actually start to doze off. But unfortunately, this bus driver pressed forward, surely thinking that he can continue driving despite being exhausted. In this video, the Colorado driver is distracted and you can see that his attention is on everything but the road in front of him. The driver keeps glancing around and forcing his eyes to stay open every few seconds before eventually crashing. Posted to YouTube in February of 2020, this video shows what it's like to be in a city on lockdown. Irma Kantu and her daughter had just picked up her 18-year-old grandson from Pasadena High School on Tuesday afternoon when the powerful winds and rain of a storm hit. The three were stuck in Kantu's Land Cruiser SUV outside the school and couldn't go any further. 
even as a tornado was bearing down on them. Yeah. I looked around, there was nowhere that we could go. So I just put the car in park. I put my emergency brake on. Wow, wow. I could feel objects hitting my car uh, repeatedly. Um, it was terrifying. It was a very scary experience. Uh, I guess you're either gonna panic or you're not. <laughs> no matter what happened, I knew that we would be okay regardless of, of what did happen. Wow, your car is so bad, Mom. Definitely in advance, when I see that there's gonna be those warnings, I'm sure gonna advise my daughter not to send her son to school. I would not have left the house. When a forest fire broke out in the mountains of Spain, some helicopters were sent out to help put the flames out before they could take over. The video shows one of the helicopters attempting to pull some water from out of a swimming pool nearby. As the helicopter descends to refill its water bucket, the pilot clips his tail rotor on a nearby fence, which sends the helicopter into a spin, leaving the spectators to be shocked as they stand nearby. The helicopter then somehow ends upside down in the pool, and the footage captures some people swimming toward it to save the pilot. Randy says that his wife was home alone with their child when the following scary video was recorded on their baby monitor. The video freaked her out so much that she immediately called her mother-in-law over to check things out. Neither of the two could explain the creepy video. This is Clark's monitor. Watch that thing that's moving in there. Right above the lump of blankets. this thing. I went and checked. There's nothing hanging there. But that thing is moving. I don't understand what it is. Trying to climb up mommy's pants, baby. Now, as we watch that thing on the monitor, I'll also show you in the room, there is nothing there. I have to turn the light on. Just a minute, buddy. See? It's on the monitor. And now it's gone, as soon as I get close to the bed. Some have called the footage evidence of supernatural orbs and have suggested that the footage looks like some paranormal face at the end of the video. Even stranger, the reflection seems to disappear when the mother comes near and the lights are turned on. Minnesota state troopers in 2017 had stopped along the road to assist several motorists who had slid into the ditch due to icy roads. Suddenly, a large semi-truck with a full load slid out of control toward the ditch. One trooper then radioed the one directly in front of him just in time for the trooper to back his car out of the way. The semi missed the car by just inches and came to a full stop, and nobody was injured in the incident. Boris Squires and her daughter Hannah were playing with the stuffed teddy bear on their baby monitor. She thought it was a cute moment, so she decided to record it. But when Hannah laid down to sleep, 
it seemed as if the teddy bear wasn't quite ready to go to bed yet. When the video was played back later on for the dad, Hank, he noticed two things. One, the temperature in the baby's bedroom had dropped to 66 degrees even though they kept their house at a temperature over 70 degrees. Also, the teddy bear was shown moving its head all on its own. This Reddit user posted this video and explains, This is a random guy walking up to my brother's home in Houston, Texas. The stranger flashed their flashlight through my brother's front door window and camera. The video shows a man possibly casing the place. When a 24-year-old woman named Melody arrived in McDonald's in Toledo, she wanted some chicken nuggets, but the location was still selling breakfast, causing Melody to go into a reckless rampage. The attendant told the customer that it was 10.30 in the morning and they don't serve nuggets at this time, but Melody was not happy. gets physical with the attendant and even yells, do you know who I am? She even smashes the window with something at one point. She eventually drives off, but police were called. Melody was then charged with vandalism, to which she pleaded not guilty. Stay tuned for our number one pick that will shock you. The following video is bone chilling and comes packed with creepy context. In the footage, two friends are visiting a Shinto shrine and are looking at an Emma, a small wooden wishing plaque found in Shinto shrines. They have been used for centuries to send prayers. Essentially, people purchase a small plaque to write their wishes on them and dedicate them to the guards. You'll discover them hung or tied together in an overlapping manner in specific areas called dedication areas. One of the two friends is filming a video. During the recording, the camera zooms in on one particular Emma written a boy named Masahiko dying. As you can see, the face of what looks like a ghost boy appears out of nowhere for just a brief moment. Other than the information I just gave you, there isn't much detail regarding this video, but it's undoubtedly creepy to see this boy's name with the word die written right next to it. Let's hope that no curse was ever actually put on Masahiko. Thanks for watching. Stay vigilant, friends.